Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siavash is here and today I want to talk about the DHCP and teach you how to implement the DHCP in the Cisco Packet Tracer and the Cisco devices. DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a very common in all modern networks. It's a standardized network protocol used on today network for dynamically assigned IP addresses for interfaces and the devices. You just imagine you have a very large network, more than the 15 or 20 clients on your network. With DHCP, your computers on your network can request IP addresses and network parameters automatically from DHCP server. This DHCP actually helps you to, as a network administrator or user, to do not set the IP address manually. So let's take a look at this topology for this tutorial. Let's a close look here. Yes, here we go. We have a one LAN segment here with the 129.11 Cisco router in it and bunch of the client as well as the one server connected to our network via one switch 2960 Cisco. We use the subnet 192.168.0.0 slash 24 or 255.255.255.0 as a subnet. Uh, the rest of the network is connected via this router to the internet but today we just want to focus to our LAN network here. So let's start by setting up the IP address for our devices and see how it works. Let's start with the server. Usually we set up the IP address on a server manually. And I do this for you as usual. Go to the desktop, IP configuration. Let's go to the static 192.168.0.2. And by pressing tab, the subnet mask will automatically fill. And for a default gateway, you, we use 192.168.0.1, which is the IP address assigned to this interface. I'm not configured the router yet and we do it together. For DNS server, let's say we set up the DNS server as the same server. Okay, the IP address is set. In real world and the real network usually we have a DHCP server on one of our server machines. For example, in a packet tracer you can also configuration the DHCP by going to the config tab and go to the DHCP then you can turn on the DHCP services assign your pool name default gateway DNS parameters as well as the network range via the start IP and the subnet mask and all other information but today I want just focus on how to set up DHCP on a router okay our server is ready and I'm going to configuration our router actually okay the router is up and let's move this windows a bit for better view enable the router show ip interface brief and the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is internal interface for us in this case i go to global configuration mode go to the interface configuration mode yes and set the ip address as a 192.168.1 255.255.255 255.0 and finally use the no shutdown to bring up the interface okay IP address is set and no shot and finally it shows that the line protocol on the gigabit 0 slash 1 interface changed to up state okay let's take a look at the packet tracer we are waiting for propagation of the switch port and let's take a look at the, these PCs okay not click here actually oops this is the wrong one I just move this label go to the PC and go to the IP address now we don't have any IP address and if I put the DHCP which is usually you also put in your Windows environment the DHCP now is fail on this machine let's go back put it back on a static just for a while and go to the router back again I continue back to the global configuration mode 
First of all, we want to exclude the IP addresses from our range. The command is IP THCP. You can use a question mark as usual. We have two options, pool and exclude address. Let's exclude the address first. Exclude range 192.168.1 and the end IP address is higher IP address is, let's say we reserve five IP addresses. We use the one on a router dot two for our server and let's three and four and five for future use maybe always exclude your IP addresses first in uh, DHCP just let the zoom you take a look at the command IP DHCP exclude address lower IP address range and a higher IP address range now it's a time to configuration or pool for DHCP IP DHCP pool and you can specific any name I call it LAN for example and press enter then it's time to set up our networks by network command 192.168.0.0 and the subnet mask of 255.255.0 after define the network we go to set up the default gateway by using the default router command which is our router as a default gateway 0 slash 1 and finally we set the DNS on our client 0 0.2 which is our server so take a close look at that first of all we exclude the IP addresses 5 address then we create our pool which is a LAN named and we define our network here 192.168.0.0 slash 24 set the default gateway by default router commands and set to our router as a default gateway and finally set our server as a DNS server with the IP address of 192.168.0.2 so let's use the control Z and back to the privilege mode okay and back to our PCs before that let's I show you some commands for verifying the DHCP the command is show IP DHCP and the question mark is binding. It shows if any IP addresses bind, bind to our DHCP server. Currently we don't have any dynamic host configuration protocol as activated. Go to the PC1, go to the IP configuration, set the DHCP. The request is sent to a server and DHCP request successfully assigned to our machine and is a start the, from the first IP address in a range we exclude 1 to 5 IP address will start from 192 the 168.0.6 and the subnet mask is a slash 24 default gateway is our router and DNS server is our server with the dot 2 IP address let's verify this one on the other PC as well go to the PC okay IP configuration set the DHCP and after sending the request of DHCP by the PC the DHCP server will offer the IP address in this case the second available IP address is 192.168.0.7 6 is the PC0 7 for PC1 and the rest of the configuration also assigned automatically to our clients you just imagine as I mentioned if you have a large network how it could be easy by using the DHCP to assign the IP address and configure our client. Let's verify from the router side. Use the upper arrow key again to the show IP DHCP binding. Let's zoom. And as you can see, the command is show IP DHCP binding. It shows the IP address assigned to IP address 192.168.0.6 and 7 to the these PCs with these MAC addresses and the type is automatically so I hope this is informative for you if you find this video useful please subscribe in our channel and as well as send your feedbacks and comment we will continue our tutorial on next weeks thank you very much and bye for now